Hey, what's up guys? It's Apeit, and welcome to Metroid Prime. This is the next Let's Play that I'm going to be doing, obviously. Now, I'm not a big, not as big a fan of the Metroid Prime series as I am the Metal Gear series, so I won't be playing every game in the series, but it is a fun game nonetheless. Uh, I haven't played it in about five years, so I'm not going to know a lot of things. I'm going to mess up lots, but um, and I guess that's all part of the fun. So I don't really... Um, know what else to say to start this off except that I was going to record yesterday however I didn't uh, have the time plus I'm kind of sick so I'm only going to be doing a 20 minute premiere episode and this is the failed one that I tried to do but I, I wasn't up to it yesterday but uh, I'm only going to be doing a 20 minute pre premiere see I can't even think I'm only going to be doing a 20 minute premiere episode because um, I don't know how long I can commentate my throat is very sore so um I do apologize for that, but, um, yeah, stay tuned nonetheless. Anyways, start. So, there is, uh, I would say actually no talking in this game, so I don't really have to be quiet. And when there are cutscenes, they're, they're pretty short, and there's not much to, um, to go over. I might as well just fill you in, because of prior knowledge. Right now, Samus is, uh, going to this... I don't know what it's called, like some sort of space air base or something like that. I don't know what it's called, but uh, there's like this uh, massive mutant parasite thing on board and you have to go kill it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to really say. I think they call it like a frigate. Alright, so um, yeah, this Let's Play is going to contain a hell of a lot more gameplay than the Metal Gear ones did. Uh, it's pretty much going to be all gameplay. So it's going to get really, really difficult to commentate because this game can get, uh, uh, no offense to it, although I don't know why I should give a fuck, but uh, it can get very boring at times. So it's going to get hard to commentate, but we might as well just move on. Oh yeah, and this is on GameCube, so you're going to hear a lot of the um, two back buttons clacking a lot. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can really do about that. I might look into how to how to quiet it up, but uh, I don't even know if that's possible. Whoa, what the hell? Oh my god. Yep, the classic GameCube issues. My uh, control stick is walking backwards. That is a pain in the ass. There you go. Anyways, um, what was I was going to say. I had something in mind, but now I can't remember. Damn you, GameCube controllers. Um, come on. I know I, knew I was going to say something. Before I started smacking the hell on my controller. Um... No, I cannot remember. Oh, well. I don't know if I already said this is only going to be like a 20-minute premiere episode because... I don't know, I'm not feeling good. Come on, open up. That's the, that's the one thing that pissed me off with this game is when you try to get through doors sometimes and it, they don't open. Okay. 
So, oh, look at that. Our first enemy. I don't know what the hell that is, but, uh... I'm trying to lock on to... Is that a thing? Yeah, it looks like a creature, and this is a space pirate, I believe they're called. Um, yeah, I guess we just kind of follow the path. This is kind of the prelude to the game. Um, they give you... Oh, I guess not. I guess that's Metroid Prime 3 that I'm thinking of. But, um... They give you... In Metroid Prime 3, they give you all the items from the beginning to give you a taste of, uh, what it's like, and then they take it all away from you, which is kind of unfortunate, but, uh, this game doesn't do that, apparently. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my nose is really stuffy. Deck beta approved. Please step into the hologram. I think it's a map room. Oh, never mind. What was in that uh, tunnel then? That those like worms crawled into. Looks like some sort of room. I'm looking up on my map. Oh well. Um, which way now? There you go. Okay, so apparently we don't want to go through that. Or we can. I mean, it's just kind of timed. There you go. Come on! They look like, um... They always remind me of... Uh, what what kind of door? There's a certain game that I'm thinking of. No, I don't remember. You know, but uh, this game gets pretty damn hard. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. I haven't even finished this game. I've gotten to the last boss and I wasn't able to beat it. Uh, it's, it's quite difficult if you don't pick up all the upgrades and shit like that, so... Any, if any of you are planning to play this, uh, pick up the upgrades. It'll really help you. Which is probably what I'm going to be doing, because... I want to beat this game on my channel. I don't want to get stuck at the last boss. Perimeter defense turret disabled. Oh, shit. Morphology, parasite larva, info, harmless unless encountered in large numbers. Morphology, Plasmite, Info, Native of Talon 4. I think that's 4. IV, I'm pretty sure. Specimen, Solitary Holding 1, Phase on Level, Unknown, no one gives a shit. Okay, what do I want to do? Batch 0732C, does not match DNA, terminating infusion sequence. Okay, what the hell do I do here? What's that? Oh, it's the defense turret. Um, maybe something over here? Oh, it looks like an elevator or something. Or am I just stupid? Oh, it's red. Okay, that means it's... I guess it's important if it's red. Yep, there you go. There you go. Where are we going? Oh. Do these guys get up or are they just like asleep? Oh, no, they're... They're in final stand, scrubs. I should really charge up my blaster instead of just spamming with a little bunch of useless ones. Hopefully I can remember how to play this game soon enough. Come on, hurry up. Oh shit. I think there's some sort of way to disable those uh, in the future. <clears throat> I don't remember, though. Please step into the hologram. Man, that's like the third time they've said that same thing to us. I don't like this. Feels like Dead Space. Although I barely played Dead Space. Only a couple of demos here and there. God damn it, stop shooting me! Oh, that guy's kind of... Oops, open the map. That guy's kind of tough. Now something's hitting me from the back, apparently. Okay. This is... I think you charge that with your uh, morph ball. And this is what? Activates it, I guess. Please insert metallic sphere. Alright. And that's like, what do you do? Like, oh, that's later on in the game. Later on, you kind of uh, act as a... I don't know what you call it. 
Oh shit. And the door closed. Beautiful. That is some loud clacking coming from my damn controller. Uh, the charge beam can pick up, can be used to draw in pickups. From how far away? Oh, pretty far away. Holy shit. Oh, what's this? What's this we got here? Able, please insert metallic sphere again. I was. I wonder what's to the uh, left of me though. I want to check that out. Must be something. I mean, oh, it's a save point. Sure, why not? Do I have to do this again? Are you kidding me? Okay, now I think this is the boss of the uh, frigate thing here. Yep. If I remember, it's pretty easy. You just keep shooting and jumping to the left. It's a pretty uh, basic generic boss fight, but uh, I think it gets a little difficult if you don't know what the hell you're doing. It's kind of odd that the, uh, the frigate's shields are protecting it. I don't know why the hell it would do that. Scan it now because the creature's entry has been. Oh shit! The weak spot has been detected in this creature's mouth. Use it. Use your auto targeting to acquire this new target. Scans indicate the presence of potent mute mutagen. Can't even read today. I sound like an idiot. Whoa! Holy shit! So pretty much we just gotta shoot in the mouth. Come on. And fatality, come on. There you go. See what I mean? Pretty generic, easy boss fight. But I guess, you know, that's what you should expect for a first boss. And I just hit my mic there, I apologize. Alright, now we have to escape. That sound is so damn annoying. I remember I had the soundtrack downloaded and I was listening to it and I was wondering like... Deck beta approved, step into the hologram. I was listening to the Metroid soundtrack and that came on and it was just like, what the hell am I listening to? I don't know why they would include this, like... You think what you hear is an alarm, but it's not actually an alarm, it's part of the damn uh, soundtrack. But, um... Uh, anyways... Oh shit. Oh, okay, I guess that'll do it for me then. Um, which way do I go? Here? I wonder if you can change the sensitivity because this is kind of feels really blocky. Come on. Oh, you got a combat roll there, buddy. I've experienced that before. You're not the first. Oh, come on. Give me a break. What the hell was that? Just blew up behind him. Okay, we go right. Can I roll? Will I go any faster? Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't want to get stuck now. So I assume we just keep going left? I almost thought I went the wrong way. Okay. From the looks of the map, we're almost out. Holy shit, that's a lot of enemies. Although they're just tiny little bugs, so they're kind of irrelevant scrubs. Dun, dun, dun. Is that the exit? Uh, looks... Mm, kind of like it. What the hell do I do now? Oh, shit, that explodes. 
Come on. Ah, I got five minutes. I'm good. I think they made that timer a little bit too big. Unless, of course, they plan to kill you before you get out. Hurry, Samus. Come on, you're a space suit person. You should be able to run faster. I meant kind of to say, like, you have some sort of advanced space suit shit, but... I don't know, maybe it's gravity that prevents her from running. But you'd think this place would have, like, some sort of anti-gravity... Oh, well, I'm getting too far into the details. And... Do we escape yet? No, we do not. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. I almost got crushed. Uh, come on. I wonder what the hell... Like, doesn't make any sense. If this is supposed to be a piston, why the hell are the walls all, like, red hot from friction? Should be pretty loose if it's uh, supposed to... I don't know, operate the place. I cannot think today. I apologize, guys. Pretty shitty premiere, but... Uh, I will. I promise I'll make it up to you guys with the next uh, batch of episodes. I'm just not feeling in tip-top shape today. Hey, look, Meta Ridley, or just Ridley. Oh shit! That was freaking close. I almost fell into the pit. Last second save there. Not important. Not important. Keep on trucking. That sounds so stupid. I don't like that. I don't like that expression. I don't know why I said it. I feel like an idiot. I'm sorry. And she lost her suit. No. Now we gotta start off with this shitty, pathetic suit. I'm losing everything. No. Okay, well, I did lose everything that I had, but in Metroid Prime 3, you lose every single power up that you have, and you have every single one of them. I think so, anyways. I totally forget. Uh, which way do we go? This way. Room is depressurizing. The hell? Come on. We're almost there. We can make it. Bum, 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 bum. See, look at that. I have two minutes, almost three minutes to spare. Get out of here. Oh no, Meta Ridley, or just Ridley. He looks, he looks like Meta Ridley. He's got uh, the gray metal plates on. Not purple like he should be. And we're the, getting the hell out of here. Why the hell? Oh, I guess she was trying to get Meta Ridley. I was wondering like, why the hell she was following him. Begin landing sequence. I don't want to do that. We're going down. Oh, look at that beautiful pixelation on the leaves there. Man, games are just not the same when you're using an HD TV. You can see every little pixelation, but I don't care. I love them nonetheless. Talon Overworld. Look at my shitty scrub suit. Alright, so this is going to end uh, the premiere episode. I do apologize for the lackluster commentary. Uh, Metroid can be a slightly boring game, but I'm going to play it nonetheless. Uh, so hopefully you guys... We'll uh, continue watching my Metroid videos, and I will see you guys later. Peace.